Hi everyone, this is Dyson in dark mode obviously and today we're gonna to Karma in VFX All that coming up Okay, hi again, this is Dyson. Welcome to my dark, lovely home. Okay, lately I was studying Karma Houdini 20 and honestly, it's amazing. Thank you, side effects. And I am attend to learn Karma because I am Arnold guy, as you can see, but Karma is another deal because my favorite software is Houdini. I love to have a render pipeline, my render pipeline in Houdini too. So this is my first step. Before we begin, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you have any question or suggestion, leave me in comment section. Okay, here's the plan. If you know me, I love face VFX, you see that? And before that, I was doing that in Nuke, Cinema 4D and Arnold. That was the pipeline. But in this one, I will do it just in Nuke and Houdini. All that just in these two powerful software. And that will make my life much, much easier. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin. We have 13 frames per second, of course, and we are in Nuke. 15 and this is my footage and this act here and of course first if we have this 3d camera tracker uh, It will be useless because the background is Not having any track or any mark for the camera. This is unfortunately We don't have this one. So instead of that we will go straight over to keen tools face builder and of course we're gonna lay down a non-animated camera of course and we're gonna build our face and track that and by the way if you're not familiar with this workflow you can see this video here i explained that here and yeah let's skip this process okay as you can see we have this face tracked by face tracker by keen tools and uh, this is a decent one of course and now let's create scene uh, object it's like a merge in houdini or null and of course let's connect the camera and we have this 3d scene and let me select this one for the lighting and you see that we have this 3d model we're gonna uh, export that as a alembic using right go okay that's awesome and of course we're gonna select the path we're not uh, we're not doing that axis and we're gonna change the type and we're gonna render that in the range okay in houdini on the other hand we're gonna have this alembic uh, file here let me show you okay i have a hard time to focus on this one come on okay we have this uh, model as you can see the animation is here and of course let's set the range and frame per second the fps make sure to match this one you see that okay we have this model and of course we have this point we don't need that of course let's fix that we're gonna disable the soap of course and let's uh, clean that by clean node and voila we have this basic uh, geometry to work with okay i want to show you some technique to have uh, parenting to this uh, model here animated model for example let's create a cube here of course and let's merge these guys together and i want to show you what is the problem and yeah let's place it here as you can see okay let's suppose i i i need this cube on the face and you see that when it's uh, playing or moving the cube is not mov moving with that this is the first reason we need the parenting the second one 
if we let's suppose if we have this VDB model and maybe VDB reshape let's suppose we want to go with VDB modeling here and of course you see we have this hole and we're going to talk about later uh, and of course we have this model as you can see frame by frame that will be calculating and this will be uh, so hard to Houdini and it will produce artifact of course that's why we need uh, to fro froze or freeze uh, the first frame here let's use that uh, sorry let's uh, do that by this time shift node and delete the channel and voila we have frozen the uh, first, first frame and let's for example modeling using VDB you see we have this whole problem and that's why we need to fill this uh, geometry by poly fill and boom now we have awesome and clean uh, VDB model without the reshape of course and now the VDB combine will uh, work uh, correctly here you see that and I convert that uh, to the polygon and you see okay let's rotate that yeah maybe this is cool okay now of course we don't have any animation the first approach is point d4 okay this is the uh, first approach for parenting the transformation of course and let's connect that to here and that to here and voila you see that of course we have this artifact you can uh, fix that by this parameter the point and iteration of course and the radius and yeah it's not perfect i admit but uh, it will do the job in most cases you see that okay let's go to uh, another one the second approach of course let's uh, show you here for example we have this uh, mobile device or any object you can uh, bring in Houdini and if we merge that sorry if we merge that here of course and you will see let me place that correctly quick one okay maybe in here and if we uh, use the point deform unfortunately this mobile device or the object will deform based on the face animation we don't need that so for that as you can see we're gonna use another approach let's delete that uh, and let's copy this alembic because we need the transformation inside that node and by that i mean let's change that to transform only we have this axis of course this is a uh, two of them let's select uh, the mesh object uh, sorry the geom uh, the face object and we have this axis of course this is just a point with a point position it's not helping we're gonna extract the transformation from that <laughs> boy this is so handy thank you houdini and of course we're gonna have a raised frame here and let's delete that make it one of course we have the transformation you see that that represent as a one point and that's cool now we need to bring of course this is the point we need to bring this transformation or apply that to this mobile device we're gonna use a, tra a transform pieces sorry where are you transform pieces of course okay we're gonna select that in here and you see where are you okay let me show you we have some movement that's awesome but let's merge these guys together and see what we got here and yeah we have some issue of course we need to invert this transformation and voila man <laughs> this is awesome approach and of course let's have a comparison between this method this is the extraction transformation and this is you see 
this is a point deformation you see it will mess up uh, the mesh so be careful to choose uh, uh, with these uh, two method of course we have another method called x form if you guys interested let me know in comment section okay let's begin with solaris and karma in houdini man this is my first experience here and i loved it honestly okay let's begin to go to stage here and of course we have this scene graph tree and scene graph details you can access here of course in any window and let's lay down sop import or sub import and of course uh we have this object as you can see and let's delete the merge and let's have a null to make them clear here and let's name that to head copy paste and this is mobile for example and yeah and let's go to solaris again and let's see what's happening here okay let's first import the head okay we have the head and as you can see in uh, scene graph we have uh, this path and you see if i change that it will uh, change uh, the name and the mesh of course for this warning you can merge that in sub layer and for the mesh name it will take that from name attribute let me show you if we have this name attribute here you see that's changed of course we can uh, rename that to face or anything here this is the name attribute by primitive of course the path is doing the same thing okay you see that and of course let's copy that in here and mobile of course uh, but we're gonna delete that because in fbx we have the name attribute I forgot that and let me show you in explode view you see that we have these objects and of course if we import that here let's copy paste that and rename that to mobile lovely and this null and you see that we have these all meshes, meshes here sorry and let's merge uh, these guys together and yeah you see we have our geometry and the mobile device that's awesome this is how solaris work and of course uh, let's have sub layer i want to import uh, the camera in this alembic of course but we have this mesh with it we're gonna delete that by stage uh, yeah okay sorry stage manager and of course you see all this uh, stage here is available in here and of course we're gonna delete or rename the object here this is the manipulation and now let's merge these guys together and boom we have our camera you see this is the tracked camera from alembic and now of course we're gonna edit this camera by camera edit and let's uh, drag that here and let's override this parameter background uh, image and you see <laughs> voila this is my first step and now of course we have this one let's have a karma this will add karma setting and usd render by default with these awesome links and let's have our camera assigned here that's awesome and of course let's check that to manual of course we have this resolution you see soon as i apply that we have this issue we're gonna fix that with focal length i don't know uh, this is a bug or not but i i fixed that by this focal length you see that now we have everything set okay this is lovely and of course we have this animation now let's have a decent lighting i want to use doom light for this one uh, but yeah without the merge let's have a doom light here nice and of course we have this one and let's go to xpu karma and yeah let's have a hdri i have one here 
okay maybe the exposure and intensity and yeah you see that we have decent lighting here and, and man the karmax view it's faster than arnold in my opinion because i'm arnold guy and let's uh, fix something here this point issue we have you see let's delete that quickly by delete node and yeah let's back let's go back to the xpu karma and of course we have this one and you can see here uh, we have this setting i want to change that to karma xpu and we have this denoising i will go with uh, optics not odin intel and of course a decent sample and we have of course uh, this path exr as you can see we're gonna export that in here and let's have a render test here okay we are in nuke we have this footage rendered by karma and let's import that and merge these guys together and you see what's happening here we are working in procedural way the houdini and nuke are awesome in procedural of course we have this issue and the ears and of course you see this mobile device it's glitching okay we will fix that in quick way here of course you see the uh, ears it will disable by this one and of course let's go to the res result and let's have this access export this is a null object contain the transformation of the uh, head and let's enable access here and let's export that you see that's awesome because we are working in procedural way in here everything is updating you see the pipeline is updated and you see the ears it's gone the weird geometry it's okay we don't need that and of course instead of this object we're gonna use the axis we exported okay let's select that and this is our null and let's enable Maya locator this is how thing work and let's reset that and let me show you what's happening here sorry okay we have this transformation and now let's merge it together okay and you see i guess the problem is gone but let's have a test render let's go to the stage and let's okay let's go to the camera and everything is okay and let's have a test render and this is the result as you can see the problem i guess it's gone and this is the before and after you see the ears and the mobile device glitching is gone and yeah with that this is the uh, first step to the karma vfx and in the next tutorial of course we're going to talk about more lighting and uh, more uh, AOV, customized AOV of course, crypto mat and of course this awesome material, you see that? And the uh, UVs of course for VFX shot and this awesome skin, uh, subsurface scattering. And we're gonna take a look to the Material X workflow of course. Uh, this is uh, Material X workflow because I'm Arnold guy, I'm not going to use Houdini principal shader and with this awesome AOV and lot of things in the next tutorial with that have a good day goodbye